Hi friends, Ren here. Today is Good Friday, the day in the Christian calendar that we set aside to remember the death of Christ, the day where evil and suffering triumphed over all that was good in the world, and our hopes and dreams were crushed as we seek to find Jesus um, triumphant over all that is good in this world. And even though in just a few short days we'll be celebrating the joy of Easter, today, right now, is a powerful opportunity for us to name the pain and the suffering and the grief that we are facing right here, right now, in this time of social distancing and separation, in this time where our lives have been turned on end, to name all that feels lost to us and the hopelessness that we find here, and to prepare ourselves for the true joy of the resurrection that comes in just a few days. So I would invite you to join us at noon today. Our Good Friday service goes live. You can find us at upcfresno.org slash Easter and watch us anytime today or tomorrow as we tell the story of Jesus's last days on earth. And as we enter into this sacred time of grief and mourning and lament, I would invite you to join me right now for a time of prayer as we lift up the needs of our world to our wonderful God. Let us pray. God, today we join our voices to the words of Jesus on the cross and the cry of all who are abandoned. And we say, my God, why have you forsaken me? Before we race in quickly with triumphant answer or the desire to set things right, we stand alongside this ancient cry of dereliction. So today we place ourselves with those who cry out, those who cry out for food and justice, for work and healing, those who cry out for hope and love or faith and meaning. We hear their pain and the pain of Jesus Christ. And just because we know that in two days we'll be back celebrating and singing again, do not let us deny the suffering of Christ and the world on this day. So we lift our voices and we cry out for the global pandemic that has taken a grip on us. We pray for those who are sick, those who are mourning, those who are fighting for healing and wholeness. Our hearts break for those facing isolation, financial devastation, anxiety, and depression. And God, we know that your heart breaks for the brokenness of this world as well, as you see your precious creation crying out in pain. And so we join our voices with Jesus's voice today and cry out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken us? Amen. Be well, friends.